Uh, peace and blessings, your daughter, daughter of our see of level seven and the seven principles. Um, I'm sharing my journey to my transition to alkaline living, to whole foods. And last year I did it. I did it for like six months from January to June to my, to my Earth Day. And then I gradually went back to adding some things into my um, into my intake that I shouldn't have. Right now I have 207 pounds. And this is January 19th or 20th, 2016. So, I done, let me show you, got rid of everything. All the food in my refrigerator is gone, opposed to stuff in the refrigerator that's alkaline. There's some limes and lemons down there. Um, mushrooms. This is leaving now. That's, that's my my uh, thing. I love beer. That's mostly where I get my weight from. I don't eat a lot. But I'll drink a beer or two every night. I like beer. And my other problem is cigarettes. And what I've done with the cigarettes is... For the last month or so, I was smoking a menthol, and I've taken that down to an ultra light. And I said to myself, "If you don't, if you really want to quit smoking, then why are you enjoying smoking? Because ultra lights are really nasty." So I just been kind of just um, feeding the nicotine habit, opposed to enjoying the cigarettes. I don't enjoy them, and that's my next step is to do a three day. Um. To go off for three days and just go cold turkey. Now that I got the nicotine down in my system. But I'm going to start that after I do what I'm doing now. Today is the first day of what I'm thinking right now. is going to be a seven day fast. But I think it might um, go f further than that. Because um, my, my plan is to do three days of just um, alkaline water. Lemon water. Key lime lemon and water. And then do four days of um, liquid, liquefy my foods, and just juice and kind of puree everything. But I think I'm feeling to go longer than seven days total before I start. I mean, and after the seven days, my plan was to start eating um, just all alkaline foods. But I think I want to go longer than seven days without cooked foods. So, like some of this stuff I'm about to show you. I don't eat anyway. Um, like this stuff. My roommate's going in with me. And another sister, like, we do like whole grain noodles. This is like a lot of her stuff. The cheddar broccoli rice and cereals. I, I never really ate cereals. But all these rice packs and cranberry juice. And what I'm going to do, actually, and there's some canned stuff that we have at the house. We don't do much canned stuff, but, um,. The neighbor gives it to me all the time. So, I said, even with these, I'm just going to take all of this stuff up to my land. and some stuff in here. All the seasonings and stuff that I can't have anymore. All my seasonings. I'm not going to actually waste it. I'm not going to throw it away. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, um, Take it out to my land. I have a storehouse on my land where we've been, we we put food there every year. I mean, just in case of emergency if something happens. So I'm not going to put the food in trash. All the refrigerator, freezer stuff, I gave it away yesterday. And today I'm taking packing all this stuff up. Even teas that I don't think is alkaline. But this detox tea has helped me a lot. It's, it, whenever I was drinking, it, it cleans my kidneys out. And the cranberry juice do too, but it's, it's acidic, so... I'll go to the alkaline side of things. The kava really helps me, especially when um, um, when I'm um, when I have anxiety, and sometimes I can get anxiety from smoking. I mean, uh, like when I when I let everything go at one time. That's why I'm saying I'm not going to release right now the smoking and the meats and everything else that's in my system all at one time. I think I'm gonna do a crash and burn. So. I'm going to do this first, and then I'm going to go again and do a three-day 
uh, kick nicotine in about two weeks of this. That my once my body get used to what's what is going through, or what it's about to go through. So this is just some um, scrolls that I plan to um, read while I'm in fasting for these days. Actually, this is for somebody else that's going to be fasting too. But these, this is the scrolls I'm going to be reading. And it's eat to live, return to Eden. Um, Satan, I'm taking back my health. Do some reading on a chakra, and of course, the great cosmic mother. I'm gonna finish this book, but this is this is my Doctor Sebi package that came in today, which will help me kickstart um, alkalizing my body. My therapeutic package didn't come out come yet. The actual push the uh, mucus and acid acidity out my body. See stuff like this. I need to get rid of because I have bronchitis, and that's from smoking, and I'm just ready to take back my house where I don't need that kind of stuff anymore. Um, but let me show you what I, what I did get from Dr. Sadie. I got the um, the green food. I thought it was called Green Food Plus. Yeah. The Green Food Plus. I don't know if you can see this, but what it does, this is $50. It's a multi mineral formula made. With herbs that offer chlorophyll rich food for the entire body, promoting good health and nourishment. Addresses the heart, brain, central nervous system, and the blood. Um, four capsules a day on that. And this one is um, I can't get that to focus. Maybe because I got this up. Hold on. Anyway, it's the um, Bromide Plus capsules. You can get a powder capsule. That was $30. Multi-mineral power to prepare nourishing shaking teas for the bones, thyroid gland, bad breath, uh, preliminary illness, respiratory issues. That's why I got it. I have bronchitis, cough, dysentery, whatever that is, dissolves fat, natural diuretic, calms the appetite for digestion, ulcer, Regulates bowels, obesity, skin, kidney, and heart disease. High in zinc and calcium. I got the um, the hair food oil. And um, I got this. I, I, I took this before. They changed the name. It's Biofear. But be, fer, feral, but before it was called Maya. And I'm not sure what that stuff was doing to me. I had my brain tingling. It made me uh made me sharper in the brain somehow. Anyway, um the tonic was twenty five. If you got the capsules it would have been fifty, but it's a blood nourisher and purifier. It contains herbs that is high in iron phosphate and other minerals that nourishes and strengthens the entire body. And they give you the doses on that. And then I got the estro. And the estro nourishes the female endocrine reproductive systems to aid in hormonal balance. Estro also improves fertility and overall sexual appetite that are decreased by an unhealthy female reproductive system. And I got that because I have um, endometriosis. So I want to see what these cell foods, because that's what it's called. The cell foods does for my actual cells and how does it help me. But I don't. My initial is I need to um, fast and uh, cleanse myself out. So I, I don't even think, like right now, I don't even want to sell cleansers or nothing like that in me. I'm just doing the, the key lime water today. And the day's the first day. I feel a little dizzy. Like, my dizzy come in, I, was, I still smoke. But I'm smoking lighter because there's no sustenance to hold that smoke. The smoking attached to or something, but um, I can deal with the not eating part, especially this day one. So I'm I'm hungry, but I can handle that. It's the little dizzy I keep getting, and without eating anything today, I already made two bowel movements. We're just drinking the, the lime water. It's already it's pushing stuff out of my system. So like I say, this is day one. Day two, three.
Yeah, so day two, three, and four, I'm going out to my land and um, because I want to be in solitude for three days. I, I won't speak unless I ha if I have to. It'd be because I have to. I'm taking my babies with me, the puppies. So it may, it may be some things I have to say to them. And um, and I'm also do the video at the end of the night. So by by day f uh, five, I'll post a video. So I'll say something at the end of each day how I feel or whatever. And that's the only um, talking that I'll actually do. I don't. I just want to be quiet and kind of listen right now. Listen to spirit. Listen to my body. Um, make some strong and firm decisions on what I'm doing with myself, and keep it though, because I always do cleansings, but um. Where I am right now, I don't choose to go back. So, I choose to live an alkaline life. And the reason, this may help too, not only for myself because I need to, but I have things that I have to teach. You know, I have a no that's in me, that's been given to me. And I don't want to start doing what I know I came to this planet to do. Filthy with my system, filthy. I want to be, I need to be at the highest spiritual level that I could be. I need my body and my mind um, to mesh. So my, no, I need my no to mesh with my body. That is, so I, I need, I need to be cleansed. I just need to be cleansed in order to bring to this planet what I know I've come to bring to this planet. So I have to. Make myself responsible first before I can bring the knowledge and or chastisement that I have to bring. So I have to be disciplined. I have to be um, more to calm. I cannot have nicotine and, and beer in my system and meat and all this acid in my system and be able to share a pure message. So... That's where I am now. I'm ready. I'm ready for my works to begin. In order for me to do that, I have to uh, get myself together. And that's where I am. So the next video will, I don't know, as I think about it, I might even just add them all together at the end and do one video. But anyway, this is this is day one, about three o'clock, I guess. And I'm packing all this food up to go out to my land. And I'll see you in the next video. Like this is still day one, and um, it was kind of hard. But I didn't get food. Get food. I went and got some seaweed. And I don't know what seaweed looks like. See what she eats. Yeah, just some seaweed to help take the edge off, and then it's extremely alkaline and a lot to the body. So. Um, yeah. Okay, peace, y'all. This is, um, the AM of day two, so I've gotten through the 24-hour period. Uh, like I said, last night, uh, my stomach was burning. And, um, and I think that's because I, I got drink a lot of beer and a whole lot of stuff. I don't know. I was weak. I had headaches yesterday. Um... But I made it, but what I did was I went and got some, what I was saying last night, I think I got the bags, no, they're not here. I went and got some seaweed, and um, just ate some seaweed, and it really took a lot of uh, the feeling off. There's a lot in that seaweed, because I'm not going to actually feel it, I felt the difference, and it took care of me through the night, so, um, my second day, and I started on my spirulina took three pills of them and the the bromide plus dr sebi i took four of them they say you take four a day and um again the bromide is a multi-mineral powder to prepare nourishing shakes and teas i think this is the um the seaweed 
Yeah, the bromide is the seaweed, um, the bladder axe. The name has changed. And, and I could tell too, but when I open a bottle, it smells like seaweed. And I know just last night when I ate those sheets of seaweed, how like instantly it took my appetite. Within about two minutes, I, I felt a huge difference in myself. So I could believe that this is, it does what it say. But anyway, it's for the bones, thyroid glands, bad breath, um, preliminary illnesses, respiratory issues. Coughs, dysentery, dissolves fat, natural diuretic, calms the appetite for digestion, also regulates bowels, obesity, skin, kidney, and heart disease, high in zinc and calcium. So yeah, this is the seaweed bladder X. And it um so I took four of them this AM and three of the spirulina just to get some iron and stuff in my body. And start feeding my cells now doing this cleansing. So the rest of the day, I'll just do my key lime water. Um, and if, again, by 6, 7 o'clock or whatever, the hunger is like crazy like it was yesterday, then I'll have um, a couple sheets of seaweed again. And that'll help. Oh, and as a matter of fact, um, I actually lost three pounds since yesterday. I have been um, urinating a lot. But, like I said, my weight is water weight, is beer weight. I'm, I'm juicy. I'm not, um, I don't eat a lot of starches and solid and, and thick stuff in my system. My, I'm mostly, my mostly bad food was chicken. Like, I'll do rotisserie chicken a lot. And, um, yeah, mostly stuff like that. I didn't, I don't do a lot of starch. I make a lot of soups. So, it's the beer weight. So, from just drinking all liquids yesterday and peeing all day long, peeing through the night. I made three bowel movements yesterday and one at four o'clock this morning. And the one four o'clock this morning is was just all seaweed. So I, I keep my colon cleansed because I do enemas a lot. But I hear enemas aren't necessarily good, but I don't know. Cause my water is boiled water. I know it's no no kind of infection going up in me, whatever. It's really hot water. Um, to burn anything out of the water first before I use it on myself, but I, I do a lot of enemas. And as a matter of fact, I, when I went to the doctor for my endometriosis, they gave me a um, I forget what it's called, but where they put a camera up in you, and they were saying they have a, my colon. I'm 47, but my but I was like 35 then or something. My colon looked like a 13 year old colon, like it was just so perfect. Even though I drink beer and everything, but I would have to attribute that to the enemas. Um, so, yeah, I lost three pounds of water weight. And I'll get you later with what's coming next. I'll hit you by um, the end of the day and let you know what's going on. And, and I'm doing this. I really hope the vlog that is because I hope it inspires somebody else to do it. And to know that you can do it, you know, it's just time to take back our health. If you want to live, um, that's what you're going to have to do. I love you. To the next video. Okay, I, w I wanted to make an addition to that video and show you something. Um, I don't know if you can see that, the spots on my hand. And I'm going to watch this over the process. That's an awful tattoo I got when I was, like, really young. But in the middle of the hand right there, it's kind of dark. It's like an eczema patch. You can see the white. That's like an eczema. Um, it'll come. It comes every year. <clears throat> but I think. It, that's a tribute to beer too. The yeast in the beer. And. Because I'll always cleanse myself out. And go away or whatever. And it comes back. So. I'm going to watch this. And I'll show this. Also at the end of the seven days. Of the cleansing. If um. This eczema has subsided. All right. Okay, this is the end of day two. <sighs> Excuse me. The end of day two, and um, it was got my stomach growling now. I don't know if you can hear that. 
but it was a struggle a little bit today. Like I feel weak. My my legs feel weak. And I think that's um the toxins just coming off my cells and stuff. You think about that, I got all this stuff and my body holding on to my cells. It was actually a false sense of strength. So all that stuff have to come off. And then the cells has to be repaired. So it makes sense. Um, but I had some seaweed today. And I took... Um, yeah, I think I said it earlier. I took the, the Dr. Sebi pills and spirulina this AM. And then I think around 5 I had some seaweed flakes. And I don't know if you got to see them good the other day, but... For those who don't know, that's the seaweed and it's a really thin flake like that. I probably had about four of them to the, the whole entire pack. It's like 50 calories. So I haven't even had 50 calories in. But um I'm I'm tired. My body is is um weak but at the same time I feel like something else is happening happening in me I'm not sure if it's the Dr. Sebi stuff I took or just the repair that's going on period just from the detox itself so um, I'll just keep updating it tomorrow's my last day of just the lime water and then the following day I'll have um, smoothies for four days before I eat any solid food, but I'll show that also. So, until the a.m. Okay, today is the beginning of day three. Um, well, not the beginning. I'm into the day now. About it's it's one o'clock here. I'm into the day now, and it's um I'm not doing too bad. I didn't wake up too hungry. A normal hungry, but um. Nothing like crazy and excruciating. But what I do have is I have these sharp pains going throughout my body. Like some in my legs. Some in my side. I don't know what that is. Or maybe just part of my healing right now. But tomorrow, I'll actually start on um, food. But it, I'll liquefy all my food. And I'll show you that tomorrow. Or... Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some juicing and then even like um, heating it up like a soup, but just to make sure everything is liquefied. And I'll do that until um, next Tuesday. And then next Wednesday, I can make, I could cook a meal. I'll go on one meal a day, probably for about two weeks or something like that. But anyway, that's in the making. But for now, this is the. It's day three. Oh, and as a matter of fact, I lost um, another four pounds on my day two. So it's a total of seven pounds I've lost. I don't know if it shows in the in the um, video at all, but my stomach has definitely gone down. I'm I'm not one to show my body, so you got to be kind of special for that. Anyway, but yeah, I've lost seven pounds, and um, I'm feeling pretty good today. So, I'll talk to you at the end of tonight. Okay. Okay, this is the end of day three. And today I had, uh, I think like one sheet of seaweed. I'm sick of the taste of that. And I'm just weak. Um, but I made it. It's um, bedtime now, so I'm going to lay down. And I can wake up and have a smoothie after I go to the store and get it. How about that? But three days of lemon lime. I mean, um, water and lime. Three days took a lot out of you. And I fast 40 days before a long time ago. I don't know. It was, um, I guess that was, that was spiritually based. 
I almost didn't have feel like I didn't have control of myself but this time. It's all me. It's just I, I choose to make a lifestyle change. So yeah, I'll hit you tomorrow. Peace, fam. This is me. Um, this is day four of my fast of my seven day fasting. Um, and which is my transition over to alkaline food. So, ooh, the first three days is um done. Yesterday was pretty hard. Um, I was extremely weak. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I was extremely weak yesterday. Like I said, I fasted before, but I, I didn't um, feel so weak. But I was extremely weak yesterday by the end of the day. The hunger went away. It wasn't, I wasn't really bothered by the hunger, but I was just weak. But I made it through. I didn't even eat. I think I tried to eat one piece of seaweed yesterday. I and I had enough of that. I didn't even eat anything. So, with that. And then I woke up this a.m. Day four. I mean, really, 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 really weak. Like, it took me about an hour to get out to bed. And then get myself up. And when I, when I did walk to the bathroom, I shook. I had a shake in me. My legs, everything. Shaking, but I know that's a part of the cleansing. I know that my cells and muscles and tissue has been held together by all that poison in my system. And now that the poison is leaving my system, my cells are left exposed and they have to rebuild themselves. I mean, even my face looked different. I lost one more pound, so in three days, I lost eight pounds. Um, and I'm sure that was all water weight, beer. I drink a lot of beer, so I feel a little better right now. This is a couple hours that I've been awake, and what I did was I took three spirulina, three of the uh, Dr. CB Bromide Plus, which is the CB Bladder X. I took four of them, of course, with my lime water, and then I've been drinking um, chamomile tea. Yeah, but... I've been taking a Bromide Plus, and um, I've been feeling like, so today is the third day that I've taken a Bromide, yeah, but fast and forward, the first day I didn't have anything, it is the third day that I've taken a Bromide Plus, but yesterday I had funny feelings and tingles, not necessarily tingles, but just feeling different in my body, excuse me, not quite knowing what it is, I been rele releasing a lot of mucus like um through my nose my mouth I get the strangest because I, I cough anyway from smoking but then like it'll just instantly just build in my chest and come right out or instantly feel like I have a cold stuffy and I'll blow and blow and every time I blow stuff is coming out blow and blow and then once it's out I could breathe clearer than I breathed in a long time, and that just keep happening. I woke up with mucus um, in my eyes, like a, more than normal. So through my eyes, my nose, and my mouth, I've been expelling mucus. Okay, the weirdest one was this AM. When I went to the bathroom, I felt like I had to poo. And I felt like I had to poo a lot, because I didn't poo at all yesterday. So... I, I pulled and I looked at it. Excuse the, the graphics, but it was very two little pieces of pool surrounded by a whole lot of mucus. See, I fasted before, so I've never done that. Like I, I'll see mucus that'll come out in my system, but nothing like that. That has to be the bromide, because that's never happened to me before. And all this mucus that's coming out of my body it has I have to give it to the bromide. So, I'm getting my energy up right now with with my, um, I'm taking, oh, the chamomile tea. And in about an hour, I'm going to go out and have my first meal, which would be liquefied. So, and I'll show that later. Okay. 
Okay, this is day four. It's about 3 p.m. I finally uh, went to the market and all of that, so I'm about to have my first meal in four days. And what I'm having is uh, kale. I put a whole um, stalk of kale in there, half a cucumber, a pear, two red bananas, and some um, coconut milk. And it's, um, it's a little thick. I'm going to put some more milk on it. Mmm, it's really good. And I didn't even really measure stuff. I was just... I didn't really um, measure it. I was just hungry. Never even tried this recipe before. Just wanted to see what it would be like. I'm not when well, see I'm delirious. I didn't even want to see what it would be like. I just wanted to put something together that I can take and get some energy back because I'm I'm depleted. I was so tired. I had a guy put my groceries in in the um, car for me. But so anyway, this is midday day four of. Um, my fast and transition to alkalinity. So that's my new word. I'm a um, I'm an alkalarian. It's not just a vegetarian, but an alkalarian. Because some people say they're vegetarians, but they're eating starch and um and starch and starch and pastas and corn, all starch. You know, do spinach starch. So. I'm, I'm veering away from all acid, all starch, all blood, and going toward all alkaline. So I'm going to call myself a alkalarian. That's the new word. It'll probably catch. Okay, until later. I'll let you know how I feel after I drink this in a couple hours. Peace. Okay, I, I was going to, I was in, I'm in the bed actually. I was almost out and I remembered that I didn't do the video so um, after I had that shake maybe about 30 minutes wow all of my energy came back and I was so bad off I thought I'd never be the same again I guess in a sense I won't ever be the same again because my energy is back but I don't feel the way I felt four days ago with energy there's something different in my energy. I feel cleaner and lighter. Um, and I, I drank half a cup of that drink and then the other half, like probably around nine, because my stomach didn't want to hold too much right now, but completely energized. And I started on my, um, um, what does he call it? The Dr. Sebi's, um, it used to be Maya. The Biofair, Pharaoh or something like that. I started that today too. So I had four teaspoons of that. And um, so tomorrow will be my second day of um, being on the juice diet. The, I mean, not the diet, but the, the smoothie. So I don't know if I'm going to tape on the fifth day unless something miraculous is happening or something Sunday Monday Tuesday yeah Tuesday is my last day of my seven day fast and transitioning to um into an alkalarian so I'll probably come back on a seventh day unless something happens or changes tomorrow on the fifth day all right this is 730 the end of day seven um, it's been a journey. Finished your seven day fast. Um, uh, been taking the bromide and the, um, and, um, uh, the Maya, what's the new name for Maya? The, um, something fear, about spouse fear, or something like that. And, um, I've definitely been seeing a change. I 
because I was going to show my hand in the seven days that um, eczema that I had is gone. But something else strange started happening with my hand, though. Like, I can't do it and hold the phone, but my skin got real loose. Like, I was dehydrated. And if nothing else, I had a gallon of water a day for seven days. But, um, it got real kind of loose. It's actually coming back now. I still don't have the full elasticity of my hand yet. So, I mean, but it was a journey. So, tomorrow will be my first cooked meal in seven days. I lost a total of about 11 pounds. And uh, I'm sticking with the journey. I'm sticking with the um, Alcatarian lifestyle. I don't plan to go back to meat, starch, acid, you know, mucus creating things in my diet or my intake. So, um, yeah, that's it. Peace. Okay, this is the last video for, um, for this segment of my fast. This is day eight. I can finally eat and I'm having, um, spelt, spelt bread toasted. Onions, green peppers, mushrooms, and um, approved seasonings, and some watermelon, and some avocado with tomato. So, um, I'm actually doing another video on how I felt during this process. My Dr. Sabi products, a lot happened in that, so I like to share that. But um, this is the end of the fast. So, this is actually my first bite. Mm, I can't wait to eat. So I gotta go. Love you guys. Um, eat to live. Become an Alcatarian. Change your life. Peace.